Hey guys, it's LEGO Boy Z3. Today I'm going to tell you how and why I learned full OLL in 4 days. So basically this video is about what the title says. I learned almost full OLL, that's just excluding the dot cases where no edges are oriented, in 4 days. Kind of on accident to be honest. So basically, as I was making a video a few weeks ago about how to memorize algorithms, I was thinking back to the largest alg set that I had ever learned, which was full PLL, which I learned in about June and July of 2015, quite a long time ago. I was thinking back to the different techniques and things that I used, and honestly, I just remembered it as being quite a lot of fun. It was just fun to get up every day and kind of practice those algorithms, all the ones you would learn the previous day, and go in and learn new algorithms, and just kind of figure out the best way of doing them, best way of finger tricking them, and just the best way of memorizing them. I just remember that as being a lot of fun. So of course I do use full PLL all the time in all of my CFOP and ZZ solves, uh, but you may be wondering why I learned full OLL if I said that I was going to be using ZZ. Well, to be honest, I'm not really using ZZ a whole ton. In my one-handed solves, I definitely use it all the time, pretty much every single one-handed solve I do ever. I'll use ZZ because I am significantly faster using ZZ than using CFOP one-handed. But when it comes to two-handed solving, that method is only really good when you know how to do good block building, which personally I cannot do, like, at all. Uh, really, when one-handed, it should only be good if you know how to do good block building, but I don't really actually do true ZZ. I basically just do CFOP with orienting the edges at the beginning, so I get to skip the first part of two-look OLL. That's basically what I'm doing when I say ZZ. It's really inefficient, but personally for me, it's still faster while doing one-handed. So basically, I just decided that I'm always going to still be using CFOP when it comes to two-handed solving because it's a lot simpler to get good at. And so, yeah, I'll be the first to say that I did not need to learn full OLL at the point I'm at. I average around 18 seconds, which is nowhere near where you really need to learn things like that. Really, you can get down easily to sub-15 while still using 2-look OLL. But yeah, basically I disregarded all of that and figured that if I could get pretty good at all the OLL cases and pretty good at recognizing them, then I could at least save like a second off my time, something like that. And if I could do that in three weeks from that time back when I made that video uh, before Nationals came up, then maybe I could have an advantage at Nationals and do a little bit better than my current average PB. But yeah, basically it just came down to wanting to learn an alg set because I was bored and had nothing else to do. So starting on June 21st and going till the 23rd, so that's three days, plus the 25th, I took a day break in between those two days, uh, so that makes it four days total, I learned full OLL. So a few times throughout each day, I would learn a couple of algorithms and just practice those on and off. And by the end of that day, on the 25th, I had memorized all the OLL algorithms with one exception. So if you were to insert the last F2L pair like this and get a case like this, where you just have a dot in the middle, then I wouldn't be able to solve this. I do not know the algorithm for this case at all. Instead, I use partial edge control. So basically what that means is as you're inserting your last F2L pair, if you notice that you will get a dot case, like I can tell that since none of these edges are oriented, that I will get a case like that. Instead, what I'll do, instead of just inserting it normally, I'll actually do a sledgehammer, and that means that you'll never ever get a dot case as long as you're paying attention. And this one should be that. So yeah, I finished memorizing the algorithms for all those cases within those four days to the point where I could look at a case, spend a little bit of time, and eventually figure out the moves I had to do. And over the next week, I worked a lot on recognition, being able to execute an algorithm quickly. And for the majority of the algorithms now, there's about five to ten of them that I still have trouble on sometimes. But for most of them, I can recognize them pretty quickly and execute them pretty quickly. And so within the next couple days before Nationals, I'll definitely get better at recognizing those last few cases. And if you want to know which algorithms that I use, I actually just created another video, which you probably also saw on my channel, which I'll have linked down in the description down below. And that will tell you all of the OLL algorithms that I use. And so I'm not really recommending those algorithms because some of them are a little bit inefficient. And some of them I just didn't really do my research and didn't really find the best way of doing it. But for the most part, they are pretty decent algorithms just there as a reference. But finally, how did I do it? It's actually pretty simple. Basically, for those four days, I kept a little piece of paper in my pocket that had all the OLL cases and a couple possible algorithms for each one. And so basically, every once in a while, once I got the ones down that I was learning beforehand, I would look at a new algorithm and its mirror. I would kind of learn two at a time all the time and kind of do the algorithm, figure it out, figure out the different moves you had to do, figure out a good way to finger trick it, a good way to recognize it, things like that and I would just kind of learn it. And I just practiced that a lot until I kind of got it in muscle memory. 
Uh, every night before I went to bed, I made sure and practiced all the ones that I knew. And once I had figured one algorithm out, I just moved on to the next one. Now, of course, I was actually doing things those days. I wasn't just sitting in my room learning OLL the whole time. If I had been doing that, I probably could have learned it in one day. I know people have done that before. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of went around, did my normal life, and every once in a while learned a couple new algorithms. And really, it's not too many algorithms. I already knew a few of the kind of special cases. Of course, I knew all of the two-look cases where you had a cross already formed. And of course, I was excluding the ones that had just a dot OLL case. It was like eight of those or something. So it wasn't really too many to do. It was maybe like 10 a day, maybe even less than that. And as for how I actually memorized the algorithms in particular, well, basically, I just used all the techniques that I put in that memorizing algorithms video that I put up a few weeks ago. So I'll have that link down in the description. Basically, I just did a whole bunch of things like only memorizing the first half of the algorithm and then figuring out the other part. Uh, by just intuition, and then also like tracking around F2L pairs, using lots of different triggers, things like that. That's basically what I did for every single case. And yeah, it actually turned out being quite a lot of fun, and I'm glad I did it. So again, I'll have the video linked down in the description down below with all the LOL algorithms that I have learned and that I do now use while I'm solving 3x3. Hopefully I can get some pretty good times at nationals using those. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.